Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a video review. And for this one, I'm going to be taking a look at Super Mario Brothers Wonders for the um, Nintendo Switch. And if you're interested in any gameplay footage, I'll have a link down in the description down below. Or you can click on the card that will appear up on this video, so you're watching this on YouTube. And for parents out there, it is worth pointing out that Super Mario Brothers Wonder is rated E for everyone, all ages, by the ESRB um, rating system though. Now, for many people, they have fond memories of basically 2D Mario games. For me though, I consider Super Mario Bros. 3 the greatest video game ever made and one of my all-time favorite um, 2D Mario games. This comes right next to games like Super Mario World and even Super Mario World 2, um, Yoshi's Island and everything and everything like that. And while I do think the new Super Mario Brothers 2D games were were good, they, w they didn't to me never re reach the level as say what Super Mario Brothers 3 or Super Mario World or Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Islands never did. They're not bad, but they're just not. They're like they're all right. They're still fun. They're still good. Just never never reaching that mm, moment that the games that I uh, mentioned everything like that. So it was kind of interesting when it was announced and kind of surprising when we started to hear rumors about another 2D Mario game. And when we finally got the chance to see it being revealed during one of Nintendo's Directs last year, though, it was kind of a bit surprising in terms of ranging from the visuals to even um, even some of the gameplay mechanics um, here and there, though. So it was certainly nice to see a brand new 2D Mario game and everything, everything like that. This was also coming off the heels of the fact that the Super Mario Brothers movie did enormous at the box office, though. It was a huge success. So when the game finally came out in October, around the same day that um, Spider-Man 2 for the P PS5 came out, though, I got a chance to I got a chance to play the game, you know, here and there. Tried some of the different characters and all. And after coming back and playing the game for like a couple of months and everything, I will say this is probably, in my view, the best 2D Mario game we've seen since you know Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, and Super Mario World 2: um, Yoshi's Island. So why don't we get started with the pros and cons, and we'll start off first with the pros. And I will say, from a visual standpoint, this is probably the best looking 2D Mario game that we've seen in a long, long time. Now, we've had, you know, as I mentioned before, we had, you know, like the new Super Mario Brothers series in terms of the 2D Mario games and everything like that. And while there were some moments where the game actually looked impressive and everything like that, the visuals never reached the level compared to, say, like Rayman Origins or Rayman Legends or Donkey Kong Country Returns or Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze ever was, though. I mean, they were they were OK, but nothing really spectacular or anything um, like that. Super Mario Brothers Wonder, I feel like kind of blows those games in terms of visuals out of the water. The game definitely the visuals and background looks everything looks alive and everything um, like that including some of the animations a little bit touch when you're about to like step on a goomba you see their reaction to a koopa troopa um as well to even some of you know basically even you know mario's some of the details like when you have mario or any of the other characters like if he goes through a warp pipe he might grab his hat before he go completely goes through the pipe and everything like that um to some of his basically here and there so i think from a visual standpoint this is sort of the this to me is the best looking 2d mario game we've seen in a long long time uh, the do, next thing i do want to talk about is that the game definitely has very much tough and challenging um level designs and i think don't think that's necessarily a bad thing we started to see this in games like new super mario brothers wii and you and all and and we've also seen this in other 2d games where they really test your platforming skills in general and all and new and super mario brothers wonder kind of continues that as well including with some new power-ups like bubble mario to elephant mario to even basically you know like drill mario and all so it definitely adds for some using those power-ups definitely add for some interesting challenges for some of these levels and all some of these levels i do think do require you to play it more than once if you're trying to find everything um in the game and everything like that especially if you're trying to find all the 
hidden secrets in the levels and everything though but it definitely adds to the design especially the wonder flower there are moments where basically there are certain levels that have these and this adds a bit of a twist to the levels and all it's basically some of them i've seen where you have a group of bulls about to you have to jump on and ride them throughout the level to some places where you're floating in the air and everything like that to even one where it sort of does a top-down view, like the classic Legend of Zelda. So the use of the Wonder Flowers in the levels are really, um, really neat. Not to mention some of the levels have, you know, hidden exits um, here and there, though. So especially if you're trying to find everything in the game, including the Wonder Seeds or the Purple Coins, this is where the game really kicks in with its difficulty and challenging, though. And some levels can be a bit challenging here and there, but... The game, there is a silver lining, especially if you want to play characters like Dibbits and Yoshi, which is the next thing I'm going to point, talk about, though. I mean, those characters, basically, you could argue and say that's somewhat kind of like an easy mode for those type of characters. They don't use power-ups, but they do have different abilities, with Yoshi having the ability to hover in the air for a little bit, which can come in handy if you're trying to cross certain jumps you may have a hard time with, to Nibbler, who basically can't get hit or anything like that. I mean, yes, he could die if he falls into a pit or anything like that, but being hit by the enemies, um, no, he can't. So it's basically, um, basically you could argue in some ways that is um, an easy mode for those who might have a bit of a hard time if, if you're playing the other characters, Mario, Luigi, the two Toads, um, Princess Peach or Princess Daisy for that matter though. So basically it is there for like, for those who might, struggle with the game and all and finally last but not least though i do want to point out that this game definitely has in my view a super mario brothers 3 and super mario world vibe to it though and that to me is a good thing i mean ranging from how the map layout is set up to basically the hidden secrets um here and there and finding like the hidden exits and everything so it just really there's a bit of a vibe to it i think that's definitely a good thing this is probably one of the one of the Super Mario Bros. games that I have was really excited for for a long, long time. Not that the new Super Mario Bros. games were bad, but this one, I think, like I said, I like the vibe to it. And I do think it does kind of blow those games um, out of the water and all. <clears throat> okay, we're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, we'll get to part two, which is the con. So we'll take a little break and we will be right back. Okay, and we are back with part two of my video review of Super Mario Bros. Wonders for the Nintendo Switch. So now that I gave you the pros, why don't we get started with the cons? So there are really only two cons I could think of in terms of my time with um, Super Mario Bros. Wonders so far. The first one has to do with pretty much the characters and all. Now, I got nothing against the characters they have in this game or anything like that. I think they all, I think the characters play fine and all. The big, the only issue I have with them is that outside of the Nibbler and Yoshi and the Yoshis though. Basically all the other characters are Mario, Luigi, Toads, Princess Peach, and Princess Daisy, they pretty much play the same no matter which character no matter which one of them you pick though. I mean, yeah, they may have different facial animations and everything like that and different appearance when they pick a certain power-up and all, but generally speaking, they're pretty much just gonna play the same no matter which one you pick. So you're basically not gonna see anything I mean, if you're expecting it to be like what it was in the classic Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario 3D World, where each of the characters have their own unique ability, Mario being well-balanced, Luigi who could jump higher, Toad who could run faster and pick up items quicker, Peach who could float in the air for a couple of seconds and all, you're not going to get that here. They pretty much are all going to play the same, though. Again, it's the Yoshis and Ni Yoshis and Nibbler that are going to be different, but so you're not really going to see any difference in with the characters and all. Again, nothing wrong if you want to play the entire game as either Luigi, the Toads, or Princess Peach or Princess Daisy. Just don't expect to see them with different power-ups the way you did in Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario 3D World. 
And last but not least, I do want to say that I'm kind of mixed on Nintendo's approach to the online multiplayer, at least for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, basically what you could do in this game is that basically if you turn on the Wi-Fi or the online mode, you basically can see silhouette of other characters and everything like that. And if you like touch them and everything like that, if you were to die, you turn into a ghost and you have a couple seconds to either touch a stance that you could put up by pressing down an X, I believe that's the one, to basically um, basically not lose a life or have one of the char silhouette characters touch you and everything like that. It's sort of a different take to the multiplayer, online multiplayer, compared to like when you're offline, you could do a couch co-op and I believe you could play up to four characters and all, which while that's all fine and dandy and everything like that, I can't help but feel to some extent it would have been nice if they had added the option to play this game with an actual online multiplayer. Like maybe like a free mode where all the levels you completed, you could play a multiplayer, online multiplayer mode with like four other characters and everything like that. So I'm a little mixed with their approach to the multiplayer side of it. I'm not saying it's terrible or bad, just somewhat mixed compared to like a traditional multiplayer like if you were to play like say Mario Kart for example where you have online multiplayer where you play against other players um around the world and everything like that so just a little mix on their approach to um multiplayer um in general overall I still enjoy Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I do think it is the best 2D Mario game we've seen so far since you know Super Mario Brothers 3 and Super Mario Brothers World and like I said, Super Mario, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. At its best though, it is definitely the best looking 2D Mario game I've seen in a long, long time. The game does have tough and challenging uh, level designs, which yes, I can understand could turn some people away, but definitely, definitely test your 2D platforming skills, especially when the Wonder Flower involves, which basically changes the levels a little bit here and there. Um, the fact that they added the Yoshis and the Nibblers, which are definitely nice for those who want a more easier time with the game and everything like that. And like I said, I definitely gained that Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World vibe to it, and that's definitely not a bad thing. At its worst though, I will say that outside of the Yoshis and Nibblers, as I mentioned, doesn't matter which character you pick, they're all going to play the same. So if you're expecting anything unique or different in terms of uh, in terms of gameplay mechanics, you're not going to find that here in um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And I am a little mixed on their approach to online multiplayer. But my overall consensus to it is that I am happy with what I've seen so far. I definitely enjoy Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It's definitely recommended for longtime Mario fans and those who enjoy the um, 2D Mario games. As for what we could expect maybe in the next Mario game, I suspect most likely the next one will probably be a 3D Mario game for, you know, the Switch successor, whatever Nintendo decides to call it though. So time will tell when we'll see the next Mario game. But for those who are fans of 2D Mario games, this is definitely a recommendation and definitely one to pick up for your Nintendo Switch and all. <clears throat> Okay, uh, this concludes my video review of Super Mario Bros. Wonder for the Nintendo Switch. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? What are your thoughts about Super Mario Bros. Wonders? Have you tried the game yet on the Nintendo Switch? Do you think it's the best looking 2D Mario game though? Do you like the challenging, you know, the difficulty and the challenging to the game though? Do you think they should have added some unique features for any of the characters if you decide to play any of the different characters um, in Super Mario Bros. Wonder? Do you like their approach to the multiplayer uh, mode in the game, particularly the online multiplayer mode? Or do you think they could have done it, done it differently or something like that or done it better? Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you do like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to. And feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You could do it through PayPal me, Patreon, or Steam Labs. Links will be in the description of this video, so me you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> Excuse me. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that'll be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day then. Bye.